If you're playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, you will no doubt be having fun building things and exploring the world, but you might be missing out on your own custom made permanent home that you can go back to to rest, cook, use a shrine and display your gear in. Or maybe you're wondering how you can farm some of the best food ingredients in the game like hearty radishes. Well, don't worry because we have you covered here in this video as we explain and show you where and how to complete these quests to get your very own house and farm. So hit that like button down below so Hudson will give you a 1500 rupee discount on your very first home purchase. So let's jump into it with how you can get your very own custom modular home. Firstly, you'll need to head to Tarry Town, which you can easily get to by using the Skyview Tower you can see on screen. Once you do get here, go to Hudson's house in the north of the town and talk with them. Here you'll start a quest line, which is all about helping their daughter, Mattison. Talk to Hudson out the front of the house for a second time, and then head upstairs and talk with Mattison inside the building. Then you'll need to follow her and help her with a quiz. So escort her to the middle of the village and talk with them once again there. For the quiz, they're going to ask you what the Gerudo word for granny is, and it's Vaba. So select this option and then follow her over to the rail car ride. Here you'll have to help her sneak past the worker. So chuck a puff shroom near him and then talk to her again and tell her to go as he can no longer see. She will then run off and then you'll need to talk to the worker yourself and pay the 20 rupee fee to ride down. The ride is actually pretty fun to do, so I definitely recommend giving this one a try. Once you've made your way all the way down, go over to Madison and talk with her and her dad. You will then need 10 Sunder Lions to dye the hot air balloon yellow. You may have these already if you've been exploring the Sky Islands. If you don't, they are literally littered around all of the Sky Islands that you explore, so you can go and collect them or hand them in if you have them already. After this, you'll have a very nice cutscene of flying with them in the hot air balloon. So after all of the dialogue, you can then go back to the original house that you started in and talk to Ronson. With her, you can then buy your dream home with a tasty discount, but it will still cost you 1500 rupees. And you will need more rupees than this if you want to pimp your house out. But don't worry because we have some awesome videos on the channel showing you how to farm rupees very easily, so it will take you no time at all if you follow our guide. After you have bought your house, you then want to head to the top of the hill by the shrine nearby. Activate this for your fast travel point, as this will be how you get back to your house later on. Jump down and talk to the NPC nearby, and he will explain how you build your home. And you'll get two modular units to start with. You can actually buy all different kinds of rooms to pimp your house out for some extra rupees. For my house, I added in a shrine, a kitchen, some gardens, and a pond for my house. I'll definitely be making the weapon display rooms next, but tell me what you think of my house in the comments down below. And of course, tell me how I can improve it and make it even cooler. So now that you have your very own house that you can build, customize, and improve, you probably want to know how you can farm those ingredients like the hearty radishes. Well, we've got you covered, so hit that like button if we're helping you out in this video. Next, you want to head over to Hatino Village and go to the school building to the north. You'll need to be at noon each time you start or progress this quest as the class needs to be in session. So a quick tip is to remember that you can place wood down and set it on fire to then rest at it and change the time of day anywhere. So talk with them to start the quest and your task will be to get a picture of a mural to show the class. So head over to Kakariko Village to the big hall building in the east of the village and head upstairs and take a picture of the mural. After you have this, head back to the school and then make sure it's noon time of day again. So do the skip time method with the wooden fire trick and complete this next part of the quest. You'll get some Hylian rice which is great because we'll need this next. Talk with them once again to start the second quest and this time we will have to make them a monster curry. For this we will need to cook together Hylian rice with monster extract and Goron spice. So head to Tarry Town and buy one monster extract from the general store there. After this head to Goron Village and at the general store there you can buy the Goron spice. Once you have these items, you can then head to any cooking pot and make the monster curry. Once you have this, go back to the class and do the fire wood trick once again to go to noon time of day and finish the quest. This will then unlock the farm for us, so head outside and go down to the empty farm plot and talk with Uma and she'll be the person that helps us plant our vegetables. Here we can plant a variety of vegetables, but of course the best one is probably the hearty radish, and you will need at least one in your inventory to start farming them. But don't worry because I've found a location for you just in case you don't have one. Head to the North Nakluda Sky Archipelago, and this location will have one hearty radish for you to pick and start your farming off. Then once you have it, head back to the farm and hand it in so you can start growing more. It doesn't look like there are any tricks to speed up the growing process of your farm. 
if you sleep in game or change time of day it seems to have no effect but if you find a trick to speed it up tell us down below in the comments and hit that like button if we've helped you out here and you've learned something new and subscribe for all the other guides we have coming your way very soon and the two videos on stream now we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one you don't have to watch them if you don't want to but if you did like this video you're probably gonna like these ones too and then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below